I grew up looking at that TC on TV, seeing movies and stuff like that. But the Bible tells us that he looks more like you and me. He tells us that he has, that he has, uh, you know, uh, his feet were like his feet were like, um, were like, they were, uh, like bronze, 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 just like gold, right? But bronze that was burnished in a in a furnace, burned in a fire. So if you burn something, it's going to get darker, right? So he had dark skin. He had dark skin, and it says he has hair like wool. So you should know what that is because you look at it every day when you look in the mirror. You feel it. You feel it on your head every day. That's because his hair is similar to yours. You know what I'm saying? So we want to let our people who know who we are according to the Bible because this is something that the world is hidden from us. You know? So our forefathers are the Israelites of the Bible. We descend from them. So that makes us the same people, the Israelites of the Bible. And the Most High chose Israel above any other nation on the, on the, on the earth. So what so what happens, like I was saying, it says in the last days, he's going to awaken his people to who we are so he can bring us back home. So this is what Yahweh, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. That's what his mission was. His mission was to alert his people who they are, reteach them the lost, which is the holy covenant. Reteach the, reteach, reteach the law, statutes, and commandments, which is the holy covenant. That's what he was doing. That's what the disciples were doing. That's what that whole ministry was about. And to go seek, seek out the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because Yahweh, again, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, he said he came not but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he came to sacrifice himself for the sins and to redeem the Israelites. He didn't say it for anybody else. He said for the Israelites, for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So we need to know that's who we are. Because the world's not going to tell us. The world's going to tell you that you're a Gentile. No, you're not a Gentile. You're holy. According to the Bible and according to the Most High, you are holy. So we need to know that. We need to uh, live up to those standards as well and spread that word, brother. Definitely. Just to touch up on that real quick. Uh, uh, the reason why you see a lot of us waking up on the corners now, brother, just real quick. The reason why you're seeing a lot of Israelites, you may go different places and see brothers standing on the corners. Because it says in the Bible that in the latter times, we will remember ourselves in the land of our captives. Right. And so this is because we went into captivity. Jeremiah 17, 4 says we will be discontinued from our heritage. So when we were discontinued, we became a byword and a proverb to all nations. So they start calling you black. They start calling you nigger. They start calling you Afro-American. They start calling you African-American, which is the name of two continents. But it says in the latter times shall they remember themselves. So now we're coming back to who we are and waking up back to our heritage and returning to the covenant. So this is what you're seeing right now and bearing witness before your eyes, brother. God, you, you, you recognize some of these? Do you have any questions about any of these images? Do they, do, they, do they look like the history that your, that your forefathers have known? Some of them. Slavery, all of these different things that was prophesied in the Bible that that was going to happen. You look up Deuteronomy 28 and 68, you'll see our history. Our, the Bible is our history book, brother. It's our culture. That's right. All right? Hey, hallelujah, brother. Be blessed. Put those.